Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using a lot of Bobbi Brown's best-selling makeup products. Bobbi Brown is one of my favourite high-end makeup brands. I use a lot of her products. Um, so I'm going to be using a lot of her best-selling products in this video. Um, a lot of them are actually my favourite makeup products. Uh, you would have probably seen me using and talking about these um, quite a bit on my channel. This is a makeup look that I came up with using her products and I just love the eye look. The eye look is like very kind of like wintery, you know, it's quite cool tone. I just love this um, eye look. Um, I love these skin products that I've used as well, which I will share with you. I'm excited about that. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. Remember, if you do, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you're subscribed to my channel. Click the bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and we'll get started with this tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start off with moisturizer and I'm going to use the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So this is like a really rich creamy moisturizer but it like really absorbs well into the skin Um, it's got like vitamins b3 in it b5 6 9 and b12 as well in it Um, it's actually a really good moisturizer to use before you apply makeup because it's like a moisturizer and primer in one like it really helps grip the makeup and make it last like a lot longer on your skin and um, it keeps your skin like really hydrated nourished moisturized throughout the day and I've been using this for a long time now like I used it all through summer I absolutely loved it it was also the moisturizer that I took on holiday with me as well like I took a little smaller size of it um, and it was absolutely amazing for then I just love like the added um, vitamins that's in the moisturizer and I just love that you can use it for um, primer as well like before makeup it smells so nice as well it's like very kind of citrusy uh, just very fresh smelling very hydrating and moisturizing for the skin even though it's like it feels very kind of thick and rich when you you know first apply it like straight out the tub kind of thing um it feels a little bit thicker but it really really melts down and absorbs really really nicely into the skin like um you know me i was always skipping on moisturizer you know like for a few years and i was always just using serums but I came across this moisturiser and I just absolutely love it. It is absolutely amazing. I've been using it for months now. It's helped really hydrate my skin and also give me like a real nice glow to my skin. And I just loved using it throughout like the summer because it was like my skin looked really glowy with it because I think the added vitamins in it. Um, yeah. Okay, so for my foundation today, I'm very excited to use this. Uh, I haven't used this in a while and it's like... A foundation and skincare product in one which is amazing so this is the intensive serum foundation with spf 40 so like you know i was always one for serum so that's why i actually picked this foundation up um in the first place um last year um i thought it was just right up my street with like you know the serum in it because i always do a serum on my face and i thought why not try this one out because like it's you know I can skip a serum step in my skincare routine but anyway you know I picked this up it sounded really great there is 25 different ingredients in it but it'll take me forever to list them all but um this is actually like a really kind of healthy glowy looking foundation that like looks really natural on the skin Um, the serum in it is just amazing it gives you a real beautiful radiance to the skin so it kind of like plumps the skin makes you look really radiant and youthful and it just helps like with you know lines and dryness on your skin so if you do have dry skin then this will be a really great foundation for you it has the spf so the broad spectrum uv filters in it so it also has like deep sea ferment in it i believe and then there's also vitamin e in it as well which is really good for the skin so it's a great foundation actually to wear throughout the summer because it's like very lightweight on the skin and you're getting like you know all the skincare benefits you know um and of course the spf protection um as well so i'm going to use this today i love the packaging for it it is just gorgeous this is my type of packaging it's like a heavy glass bottle um like this is just mm, my favorite favorite looking foundation bottle the shade i've got is beige which is n042 and i'm going to use a sponge 
today. Um, I'm going to, I'm not too sure how much I actually need this foundation because it's been a while since I've used it. Um, so I'm just going to use this amount just now and I'm taking my sponge. So I like to use a sponge every so often for, you know, foundation just because it helps to like really hydrate the skin because like you have like the water, you know, and the sponge so it kind of helps to hydrate and cool the face while you're applying foundation. That's why I change it up every so often because I love a brush because with a brush I feel like I get um, a lot of coverage, like more full coverage with a brush. Um, but with a sponge, I like the coolness that it gives to the skin, especially when my skin's a little bit more drier and like obviously with this, um, you know, colder autumn winter season, I feel like my skin gets a little bit more dry so I want more kind of like hydration and moisture in my skin. It is a natural kind of finish foundation as you can see. Like it's light to medium coverage I would say but it's beautiful. It's like one of those foundations that's perfect to wear um, on the daily, like every day. It's not really a foundation that I would see myself using. I haven't really ever used it much for like photographs or anything like photography or anything like that. It's just a foundation that's really good for everyday, like natural, um, yeah, because you've got all the benefits, you know, in the bottle and everything. Like, obviously, if I was taking photographs and that, I usually like to wear something a little bit more full coverage, like, say, like, Armani Luminous Silk or I feel like the NARS Light Reflective Foundation is beautiful for photography as well. Like, it's super lightweight and gives you, like, really kind of good medium, medium coverage. Um, that is another great foundation for photography but for this one I don't really use but it's like the perfect foundation for everyday wear. It feels so beautiful on the skin this like very lightweight and very hydrating like you can really tell that this is more of a skincare product than it is a foundation you know or a makeup product should I say because you know it feels like I'm applying like a serum like something really hydrating and moisturizing because you know with some foundations like you can just tell that it is makeup you know even though they can feel like super lightweight and nice but sometimes they can just like you can just tell you know what I mean but um this just feels like a skincare product like I don't feel like I have any foundation on and it does say that it's like a non KK and non creasing foundation that really helps like with your lines on your face and things like that as well so like fine lines and that like it doesn't really seep into them because it's obviously not like a heavy thick formula you know it is just so beautiful I could literally apply loads of this and it never feels heavy on the skin like so beautiful has a nice radiant glowy finish to it but if you want to like amp up and make it extra you know glowy the foundation you can actually use a little bit of the illuminating balm I've done this before just add a few drops of this um, into the foundation apply it to your face and you get like a really like glowy um finish I just like the natural radiance that this gives for anything extra added um but you can do that obviously now for concealer this is a newer product to Bobbi Brown but it's like also in their best selling section so this is their new skin full cover concealer that's it right there I got this a few months ago there and I've actually been really enjoying this this is like a really nice lightweight medium like I would say medium coverage concealer like it does like claim to be full coverage but um with one application I feel like it's a little bit more kind of like just medium coverage uh, but if you like uh, apply a second layer like maybe kind of build it up you do get more full coverage with it um it is a 16 hour wear concealer according to the info it lasts really nice and it has like this um like different type of doe foot on it which is like a central reservoir I think they call it you know so that you get really good you know application in like one swipe the formula is like really lightweight so it feels lovely for like concealing the under eye area so like you can just like swipe you know like one nice big swipe like that and it should kind of be enough coverage if you're looking for more of a I would say medium coverage However, I do like to be a bit more full coverage, to be honest. So, I do like to apply a little bit um, more to my under eye. 
because I feel like I do need to build this up a little bit just to get the you know the coverage that I prefer but of course everyone is different um, but it is a really nice concealer this and the shade I have this in is Cool Sand I think it is yeah so I'm hoping it's going to match the foundation well because this is a bit more of obviously a cooler shade and the foundation is more of a warmer shade I think but I think it's going to go um really good by looking at it right now I am going to use my brush to blend this in because like with a sponge like it's great for my, my foundation things but for concealer I do like my concealer and my under eyes to be a bit more full coverage and I feel like a brush gives me that so that's what I'm going to use today this is just a Sigma high F a high cheekbone highlighting brush which is FO3 it's really good for um blending in concealer also says that this is sweat and humidity proof and it claims also to kind of move with your skin so it doesn't really like crease and I haven't really seen it crease that much on me to be honest yeah, as you can see I would say that's a little bit more of a medium coverage rather than full coverage like I do have a tiny bit of red peeking through here still which I do like to conceal but for in terms of like the dark circles I would say it's concealed them pretty well so I don't feel like I want to apply any more. Um, looking at it, it looks actually, you know, really nice. I do like the kind of natural finish. Like it goes really well with the foundation. It is a really nice concealer, this. It does last on me um, all day. Um, so I do like the finish of it. It's very kind of lightweight and it's quite natural. Like even though it does say that it's a full cover concealer, um, I feel like it's a bit more of a medium coverage finish i don't have any setting powder or like face powder stuff to set my face with from bobby um so i am just going to use a couple of my kind of favorite products right now and because obviously i want to keep this kind of healthy kind of natural looking finish to my skin today i'm just going to use my nars um translucent light reflecting powder this is really nice just to dust over the face to like set um, conceal on things in place and it doesn't feel like heavy or anything because it's obviously a light translucent it's a very 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 silky powder this I'm going to use it to just lightly set my concealer and then I don't have a bronzer from Bobbi yet um, it's something I would really like to get from her but I'm going to use um, the Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Yeah, I'm going to use this as a matte um, bronzer, which I love. Too Faced is owned by the same company as Bobbi Brown is. Like, um, they're owned by Estee Lauder. So they have like a few brands under the umbrella. I just fixed up my brows using my normal Benefit products. So I just used Precise in my brow and the brow setter um, because I don't have any Bobbi products for that either. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to actually move on to my eyes, which I'm very excited about. I have their best-selling long wear cream shadow sticks and I have two of their best-selling shades here. So I have the shade Bark, which is like a rich brown shade which is on a kind of matte finish and then I have golden bronze which is described as a deep bronze sugar shade and yeah these are two of the best selling also moonstone is also one too but I have moonstone actually in their powder form so I have the Lux eyeshadow rich sparkle which is this guy right here I adore this this is one of the best products I've ever used for my eyes like it is stunning this um so yeah it's in the shade moonstone that's it right there and oh, this is just so beautiful like the sparkle this gives to your eyes is literally unreal so I think I'm going to apply a little bit of this today because this is actually um a best-selling product even in this little pan like this um this is just so beautiful like if you're looking for like a really sparkly but non like glittery like in terms of like falling everywhere type of product then this is what you need this is just so smooth so luxe 
absolutely gorgeous in the eyes, perfect for like this Christmas, New Year season, like it's just beautiful, like my favourite eyeshadow by far. I'm going to take the shade Bark, which is this brownie colour, like a deep rich brown colour and I'm going to apply this to the outer part of my eye so you don't really have to use a brush with these you I mean you can use a brush if you want you know a little bit more precise application but to make it like easier for everyone basically you just use your finger to blend it in so I'll see how I go and um, if I want to use a brush then I might but I'm just going to apply it to the outer part of my eye first so just like right here because I'm going to do like a wing liner I think so I'm just going to smudge this right here it's very like creamy to apply to the eyes and then I'm just going to take my finger and start blending it in I need a mirror for this yeah so although you can like really blend this in like so easily I do like to use a brush just for like you know my crease area so that I don't get it like <laughs> all the way up to my brow so just using this to blend the edges just lightly and then if it does take a little bit away from the shadow I'll just go in and apply a little bit more from the stick just to like deepen up again and um, but it just gives you a really nice kind of soft blend at the edge there and then I'm just going to lightly feather the edge of it right here because I am going to go in with another shade to go over to go over it into the inner part of my eye but just taking a little bit more of the shadow stick again just deepen it up a little bit so I've applied that shade just now and it doesn't have to look perfect just now because I am going to go in with um, another shade you know for the inner part of my eye so I'm just going to take the golden uh, the golden bronze shade and I'm going to apply this to the inner portion of my eye so like just right here so just taking it all the way from the inner corner up to meet that darker shade right there in the center and then just take my finger I'm just going to blend the edges of that there. What I'm going to do is just to tidy up the crease a little bit more is actually take a powder shadow. Um, so you don't really have to do this, you could just go in with a brush and just really um, you know, get right in there to make sure it's nice and blended in the crease. But I'm going to take a little bit of powder just because I have um, this eyeshadow palette here from Bobby, which is lovely um it's this one right here it is it was limited edition so i don't think it's available anymore it's called the high bar palette and like look at the shades in here is stunning like i got this like two christmases ago i think yeah it's just like a beautiful beautiful palette so i'm just going to take a teeny bit of this shade here which is kind of like a matte um yeah, it's a matte brown shade, so I'm going to just take a little bit of this. I don't want to make my eyes too dark, but I am going to take a bit of that. Make sure I really tap off the excess, and then I'm just going to make sure that my edges are nice and blended here. Whoa, that's really deepened that up, but I'm going to take a clean brush just now. Now I'm going to take Moonstone, which is the Luxe Eye Shadow Rich Sparkle. Like, this is so gorgeous. I'm excited to use this. Um, I love applying this on top of my shadows. Like, for today, I'm going to just keep it a little bit subtle because you can, honestly, you can, like, swipe this on and it's, like, super, super, like, pigmented and amazing and sparkly and just gorgeous. Like, you can really, with the light as a touch, um... You pick up so much it's amazing yeah i'm going to tap this onto like I, i'm going to maybe go on the lightest part of the lid so where i applied that bronze a uh, golden bronze shade i'm going to tap this over the top of that just to give me a sparkle and it's just gorgeous this 
so like look at that like amazing it's so intense this stuff it's incredible but I'm going to keep it a little bit <laughs> a little bit more subtle like you can't really be that subtle with this but I'm going to try because it's so intense so you can't really be that subtle with it <laughs> it just packs a punch but I'm just going to tap a little bit just right there like look at that that's the lightest of touch it's like so smooth this like it's not a chunky glitter or anything like that it's very very kind of satiny smooth you know like so smooth and the lightest of touch gives you so much pigment I'm going to leave it at that because I could go for days and just keep applying this like it's so beautiful but I'm just going to leave it like so and yeah I think that's really pretty absolutely love this like out of all her shadows this is something that you need because like it's something that you can apply on top of every single eyeshadow you have because it's just it's beautiful it's so smooth super intense and just perfect for like any glam night those cream shadow sticks are so easy to apply to the eyes as well and um, they're like really great to like use you know on a quick everyday basis if you like to do something on your eyes every day um of course there's a bunch of different shades but two these two in particular are two of our best sellers i'm just going to do some winged liner i don't have a liner from bobby brown to use so i'm just going to use this one from benefit just to create a nice wing mascara i'm going to use the smoky eye mascara so this is another best seller. I have like a little mini of it right here. I have used a full tube of this before but I'm going to pull up some info on it because like I forget exactly what it does. The info says create extra bold dramatic lashes. Um, it doesn't flake or smudge and it's also sweat and humidity resistant. So you get volumized fanned out lashes from root to ends. So yeah it's been a while since I've used it so I'm looking forward to using it again because I'm always re really stuck on using my L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara like this I'm absolutely amazing that mascara um yeah so I've been like just using that for like such a long time now that I forget to use all my other mascaras that I have but um or I forget what other mascaras are like really so it gives me like real separation to my lashes but I'm not sure if it's giving me that like fullness that I like that the L'Oreal one gives me but obviously I'm going to try and build up a few times it took a bit of time to build up this mascara so like it gives like I would say separation to the lashes and a bit of volume but in terms of like fullness I do think I get a bit more fullness from like my L'Oreal Lash Paradise however I do think it is a nice mascara but it takes a little bit of time to build so like I've done like three applications of this whereas like with L'Oreal one I can get like a really full looking lash with like two applications so yeah it is a nice mascara but I don't know if it's my favourite like I do like that my, my lashes are a bit more separated you know um yeah but I still like a bit extra fullness to them but it is a nice mascara but I'll let you guys be the judge of how you think my lashes look now I'm going to finish off my face and I'm going to use the pot rouge for lips and cheeks so this is like a cream product so it's you can either use it for your cheeks or for your lips. I do like to use this for my cheeks. Um, so it's like a kind of soft satin type um, finish. I mean, it has no shimmer in this. So yeah, what I like to do with this is take a little bit of it, apply it to either like the back of my hand or inside my palm sort of thing. Um, take like a stippling brush like so. Um work the product into the brush and then apply it to my cheeks because I don't really like to apply too much cream cream product on top of powder and of course obviously you guys know I have powder on so I like to stipple it out quite a bit on the back of my hand and then or the palm of my hand and then just apply it to my cheeks and yeah I like this blush because it has a really nice pretty colour to it you know um, it's like the soft pink but it's just really, really nice, the shade. 
it is a really easy to apply blush as you can see like it doesn't move any powder about especially if you do it like the way I've done it it's like a lot easier like with a lot of cream products it's best to like I would say if you've got powder on obviously it's best to kind of apply them to your hand use a stippling brush to kind of work in the you know the cream first so you don't apply it straight to your cheeks and create these like water marks and move all your powders about so yeah um that's what I like to do I'm gonna take a little bit of bronzer across my nose just using the Too Faced one again just now take a little bit of this just across my nose just to bronze up a little bit I'm going to highlight a little bit with the highlighting powder it's a number one bestseller from her and it's in the shade pink glow so this is kind of like a cushiony like a very velvety soft cushion type highlight it feels absolutely incredible it's very smooth as well like it doesn't have any chunky glitter in it and you can use this obviously as eyeshadow as well as obviously highlighting like your high points on your face um yeah it's a really pretty i love the kind of marbled effect to this like it is beautiful it feels lovely the formula is so um thin and it's not like chunky or anything like that i'm going to take her little smoky eye liner brush here and just pick up a little bit of this and apply it just to the tip of my nose there just give me a little cuteness there and then i'm just going to take a little bit just here just halfway down the bridge of my nose And I've got two of her like best selling lip products. Um, so there's two different formulas here. We have the Lux Lip Color and then we also have just the standard lip color. So the Lux Lip Color is a bit more moisture infused. There's a bit more moisture, you know, like moisturizing ingredients sort of thing in it, which is very, very creamy on the lips. It's really, really nice. The shade I have is Bond, which is a really deep, deep shade um I don't know about that shade for that's the shade of it right there if you guys are interested it is a really nice rich like color if you can see there I also have this little mini one here of that same range and it's called neutral rose which is this colour right here which is it looks beautiful that shade actually looks like something I might use today that's gorgeous that shade and then I have just a standard Lux lip one which is called brownie pink that's a shade brownie pink um that's it right here I will also swatch that see this one here is a little bit like it's just as creamy um as the Lux lip ones however I don't know actually it does look like it has the same amount of juiciness to it I'm not too sure it's been a while since I've used these but I am going to go in with either brownie pink or neutral rose today but I think brownie pink is speaking to me right now I think that's a little bit lighter I think I will use that one and then I also have her um crushed oil infused gloss which is this one right here it's in the shade in the buff and you know me, I love glossy, so I may apply a little bit of this on top. This I've used, I don't know if you'll see the colour well here, because it is like an oil-infused gloss, so it's not as opaque. It just gives you a beautiful, uh, glossy sheen to the lips. Um, I may apply that on top, but the lipsticks are so creamy by themselves that I probably don't need to apply that, but I might just do it for the sake of, you know, sake of the video. These are like super luxe lips. The packaging is just beautiful for these, like very luxe heavy packaging like just beautifully like, again my tech packaging all bobby's packaging is my favorite i don't have a lip liner surprisingly from bobby brown so i'm going to just use my uh, mac one which i really enjoy i'm going to use subculture i'm going to use because it's a bit more pinky which i think will match that brownie pink shade and i have extra dry lips right now so using like these lipsticks as well as that oil infused gloss is going to be really really good for my lips right now because they're so dry 
taking brownie pink, I'm just going to tap a little bit of this on my lips. I don't really want to put too much on because I do actually just like that lipstick, that lip liner, sorry, on its own. I do like just the shade of subculture on its own really for this eye look but I just wanted to use a little bit of brownie pink just to show you how this shade looks like obviously it would be a lot more moisturising and shiny looking if I really packed the colour on um, but mm, I don't know if it's going to go with this eye look so I'm going to go on with the gloss just to kind of lighten up the lips and I know this gloss is so so moisturising on the lips like it feels so good right now because my lips are so dry so I spent like 15 minutes there trying to decide which lipstick I wanted to wear none of them made the cut just because it didn't really match the eye look but they're gorgeous shades I love wearing these you know with a different colour of eye look obviously I just decided to just use uh, not that one MAC Subculture max up subculture with just the oil infused gloss and in, in the buff like yeah that made the cut just to give me just a nice kind of moisturizing like glossy look to the lips it is more on the pink side for this look but it matches well i think with like obviously the the pink highlighting in a corner and things like that it matches okay the gloss is a little bit thicker uh, because it is oil infused so you know it has that thickness to it but it actually feels really comfortable and it's very like nourishing on the lips and you know moisturizes and hydrates them really well so yeah it's a really really nice gloss perfect for everyday wear like this is just a really nice formula and then another product that is really popular from her it's like a bestseller as well is the illuminating moisture balm which i showed earlier and um, this is so beautiful to apply to like see like the collarbone and things like that it's great to apply on the face and um, to be honest because it is a balm so it's you know it's like a a good skincare product and um, has a lot of key skincare ingredients in the um, formula it is really really lovely but I personally love to use it for highlighting like my shoulder and neck collarbone area when I've got like a kind of lower cut top on like that's my favorite thing to do with this because it just really makes your you know body look super glowy and shiny and just very healthy looking so I do love to apply that all up here I usually sometimes do it in the center of my nose like center of my face you see on on my cheekbones as well um I usually do that too to highlight more like on a natural day. I don't have like such a low cut top on today but I could like maybe highlight a little bit of my collarbone just to show you like how amazing this stuff is. You can probably see the glow already coming through there like so amazing. So I'm just going to tap that on. Again it's best to use when you have like a lower cut top on. But I just wanted to show you, I usually like rub it all over, you know, my body, but just to be a bit more precise to show you, because I do have this v-neck top on. Yeah, you can see a little bit there of the glow that it gives. So nice. It's a really nice product, it has a really nice smell to it as well, like you can really smell that kind of like lemon scent from it's lovely okay so this is the completed look using all the best selling products from bobby brown and i just love how this makeup looks like i feel really like like healthy glowy radiant looking like i don't feel like i have a ton of makeup on which is actually really good because of that um foundation serum it's definitely a light to medium coverage finish um if you are someone who's into more natural makeup and it's, this is definitely a foundation you should definitely try out um yeah perfect for like everyday natural looks gorgeous i love it it just feels like nothing on my skin very healthy and glowy which is great so that is one of my absolute favourites from Bobbi and also like the moisturiser is incredible, like I love this moisturiser so much. Uh, I love this shadow as well, this is like, <sighs> this is amazing, I absolutely love it. If you guys have been looking for a sparkly single eyeshadow that is going to like amp up 
every single makeup look then this is what you need that's it for this makeup tutorial i really really hope you ladies enjoyed that i really like loved filming this i love like just using a full face of like one brand it's amazing to see like the actual results in that and like how amazing your skin can look with just one brand i really hope you like how the makeup looks turn out and yeah if you're brand new to my channel please hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will speak to you very soon in my next video Bye.